This is Josh Mitchell with Breezeway Productions. I'm here with the legendary actor William Shatner for today's charity horse show. Uh, Bill, I guess just give us a little background of your association and how you think everything went today. Well, <clears throat> 30 years ago, I started a horse show called the Hollywood Charity Horse Show. We raise, we raise funds for children children in need, all forms of need. We've broadened that in the last several years for the children and veterans because frequently the veterans needs socially, economically, uh, uh, physically are the same as the kids. So riding a horse, uh, therapeutic riding for example, uh, has that similarity. So we raise money both from uh, Priceline.com, uh, Wells Fargo and many other sponsors. We have a dinner uh, January, uh, uh, June 4th this year is our dinner and a five-day horse show. The horse show itself is exciting to come and see at the uh, 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 Los Angeles Equestrian Center. So that's the fundraising part of it. I'm also going to appear at the Nokia Theater uh, January 29th in my one-man show which opened on Broadway. <coughs> uh, wonderful uh, reviews and then people and I toured and now I'm touring uh, 13 cities, amongst them, will be Los Angeles on January 29th. That's amazing. One thing that I found amazing today also is people's response to horses. I mean, I don't have a direct correlation. I mean, I've, I grew up with dogs and everything, but in terms of us as sort of artists, we can look at how they've been muses for like the horse whisperer, black stallion. What are some experiences you've had with like horses in general or anything that has sort of moved you in that regards? Well, uh, we're into dogs as well, we breed Doberman Pinchers. So dogs and horses are integral, deep part of my life. Uh, it's not dissimilar, you know, uh, although the dog is beside you and is a companion and is there uh, loving and being loved uh, 24 hours a day, the horse has to reside in a stall. But there is a communion between the rider and the horse. There is a verbal, there is a non-verbal language going on, so you can communicate with your horse. You can talk to your horse with your hands, your your voice, and your legs, and the horse begins to understand that there is a, a, a dialogue going on. Uh, Reining, which is this equine sport that uh, the Hollywood Charity Horse Show uh, it is, it's a, it's a reining show, is a very athletic discipline. The sliding stops and 180 degree turns and where it uh, turns and circles and fast and gallop and stop. And so it's a very athletic sport and you've got to be in great athletic shape. You have to, the rider, but the horse even more so. The horse is trained like an Olympic athlete. So it's a great, it's thrilling to watch these Olympic athletes in this athletic endeavor, endeavor uh, perform, and which you'll be able to do uh, that week of uh, uh, January the 4th, uh, of June the 4th. The week of June the 4th, which is a Saturday night, prior to and post the 4th is the horse show. That's amazing. Well, I got to witness your direct um, your direct success with being involved today. Tell us a little bit more about your one-man show that you have coming up. What's it, what's it going to be based on? Well, I opened on Broadway uh, uh, some time ago, and I toured the United States, and now I'm, I toured, uh, a few months ago I toured Australia, and I'm bringing it to the United States, 13, 13 shows around, around the country. Essentially, the one-man show is an affirmation of life, saying yes to life, being, uh, being passionate about life, and that's what the show's about, my passion for life. And uh, it's filled with laughter and it's filled with tears and filled... I talk about mountain gorillas and I talk about motorcycles and I talk about life and, and, and uh, death and, and love and music and comedy. It's, it's just filled with, with energy and, and... but mostly it's to say yes to new opportunities, yes to life. Did you get to see the Mike Tyson Broadway show? I didn't see him on Broadway. I, I saw a uh, film on it. It was sensational. Yeah, it was Spike Lee did it, right? Yeah. Well, that's, that's all we have today with the legendary Bill Shatner.